In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how you can add location data in Excel, natively in Excel, without having to leave the program and find other data elsewhere. Unfortunately, this does only work with American cities, so that's what we're going to be using here today. So I've created a scenario here based on the data types that we can pull with some different cities. So all we do to activate this and use it to for our needs is we just want to highlight our list of cities we just want to go to our data tab on the top if we've already listed it it will kind of see that it's what they are cities but you can always click the drop down if you don't see it and come down here and click cities so once you've clicked cities it might take like a while for it to just gather all the data and next some of them it might not be sure about so here as you can see we have new york seattle san francisco it already knew about those but here we have austin there must be a few different austins in america and we can just select which one we want so we just select this one and we want like columbus ohio we select that one we want this boston we can select that one and we'll take Denver and Colorado. So now that we have all this data, we can now just click on the city that we want. We can click our little drop down here and we can do some data finding. And all we do is click which one we want. We want the population. So we just click the city population. And you can also do these in bulk. So if we just clear that one there, highlight all these cities and go back here. And you'll see in this top corner, we have this plus insert data sign. And once we're here, we can click city population it's going to find the data for all of those and if we go back and click it again it's going to fill the information in for the next row so we've based our thing on households with income levels that differ so we're going to use these different things here so we're going to go 0 to twenty five thousand, and there we are it does that one and we just keep going along and basically just following along what we can do as you can see, if we scroll down, there is quite a variety of different data here. There's some weather data, there's crime data, there's population data, there's even age on population, name, and like area stuff. And there's a lot of information here that we can use, which I think is really cool. So if we go to 100 to 200,000, there we are. And if we go to our 200 plus, as you can see there, we now have a lot of different data that we can use. So let's say we wanted to add in some different data. Like let's say now we, I haven't wrote it in column H, but let's say we want to see how many people are married. We can do marital status now married. And we'll see, we'll just extend that out for that data there. And there we are. That gives us all the data we need. You might want to reformat this and knock off those zeros and everything and get it all nicely formatted. There we are. That's how you can easily create fast data and you can use this data to work with whatever task you're working with that you might need this for. But it's really cool how fast and efficient you can pull this data in and create this data within Excel. I hope you guys found that very useful. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.